Shout out to everyone. Big salutes. Big salute. How y'all doing? All right, all right. How you doing? How you doing? Come on up in here. What's up? Um, let's chop it up a little bit. First of all, I want to say, um, free Larry Hoover, seven four to the world blow. I want to say that. Reporting live from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Let's keep pushing. It's all about growth and development. Growth and development. If you're not growing and developing, what are you living for? Why are you living? Why are you breathing? Growing and developing. So, um, I said yesterday that a man keeps moving. A man don't stop moving. He keeps. I have the problems. Yeah, there we elevate. I've been out uh, looking for a, a, a yeah, yeah. I know the, the connection is bad. You see, I'm with the box now. Got the box. I just came closer to the box just to see if it works. But it's been acting up all day. I don't know if it's something in the weather or what, but it's just been acting crazy all day. But um, yeah. So all day today, I've been running around. I'm looking for the perfect spot in St. Domingo just to start off a little business down here. I got some great ideas down here. And once I solidify that, which should be like Tuesday, then I'm going to shoot back up to um Sasua area. And I got some, then I got to bounce back down to St. Tiago because I want to lock in a spot in St. Tiago also. You know, um, so that that's, don't forget about Porta Plata. That's what I meant to say, Porta Plata. You know, so, but I have some business plans. I don't expose everything because everything in for YouTube um, until after it's done. I like, I like to uh, envision and visualize things and, and, and of course, speaking into existence, but also you got to guard your mouth sometimes. What you got to do sometimes, you got to guard your mouth because you know the enemy prays against you. The enemy prays against you. The enemy finds a way to slither the, their way up in your midst and destroy and kill everything you got going on. So you want to make sure you have the right energy around you. You want to make sure you have the right vibes around you, the right vibrations you're sitting, sitting off. And you want to make sure you're treating people very well uh, so that and make sure you, 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 what I say, um, you don't have bad intentions when you're doing things. So that way, everything that comes your way is prosperous. You know, uh, you, you, you're, down, you're down and prosper. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what it's all about. And that's what growth and development is all about, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, you see it in the title, Growth and Development, GDN. You know, that's facts. But at the same time, there's a message, an underlying message underneath all of that. You understand what I'm saying? This channel is built on growing and developing. Matter of fact, that was the first original name for it before I switched it up to King Lockett, the Alpha Male Agenda Show. It was King Lockett Growth and Development Show. But I switched it to Alpha Male Agenda Show. You know, um, so what I'm saying is I try not to speak on certain things and you should practice this too. A lot of times you wonder why you done made plans you don't put some stuff together. You don't wrote it down. You don't did everything there is to do to put it into the universe for it to uh, to for it to flourish. But then you mess around and said it to one wrong person, and that was that wicked individual that's praying on your downfall. And when you got someone praying against you in this universe, you got to watch your step and watch your move because little things happen now. I know a lot of you like to say, well, you know, I'm protected with the blood of Jesus. I got this going on. But you got to understand, little shit happen. Not saying that your dream and your plan just going to be destroyed. It's just going to be a bunch of stumbling blocks and road bumps and turns and shit getting there. But in order to avoid all of that and make your role as sweet, swift, 
and as quick as possible, you got to continue to create uh, uh, the best energy, the best vibrations possible. You understand what I'm saying? You got to do that. And I'm saying this for a reason. I don't. I came on this live tonight. I'm about. I'm about to just talk about my day and what I was doing to open the floor for question and answer about the Dominican Republic. You understand what I'm saying? But then some just touched me and said, "No, nah, somebody need to hear this shit." So I'm gonna say this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and 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 this is something that I, I. This is a method I go by all the time. So like today, I've been looking at different apartments, different condos, different things like that down here in the south. Down here in Santo Domingo, but also I wanna, I wanna reveal some of the things that I'm doing and what I wanna do. But then also I know that it's best that it has to happen first. <laughs> it has to go ahead and uh, take fruition. It has to jump into place first, and then I say, hey, look, check this out, guys. You see what I'm saying? Because then you know the only thing the snakes and worms can do at that point. And just sit back and wait for you to make a mistake on your own and ride on it. You see what I'm saying? But you don't want you don't want you don't want your adversaries hearing. They're just like in church. You know, they, when people speak in tongues and stuff. They, you know, they say they speak in tongues to keep Satan from understanding what they're saying. You know, because even when you pray, you have to understand that the the wicked forces hear your prayer. And try to intervene. So a lot of times they say, "Pray with your mouth closed," you know, because they, you know, you know. So it, it, it's kind of like the same thing. It's kind of like that. I don't, I don't, I don't. I know it's real, but I don't give voodoo, witchcraft, and all that enough power to work on me or against me or anything like that. But you got to understand that all of that is is chanting words and energy and 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 all of that put together. Focused on a focal point, just focal pointing at uh, at someone or something, and that's just what causes it to happen. So it's like the law of attraction. If you see yourself in the bins, you see yourself in the bins, you see yourself in the bins, you focus on the bins, you meditate on the bins, you go out into the nature, you think about the color you want your bins to be, you think about how you want your girl to look, you think about how you want her to act, you think about how you want your man to look. How you want your man, you just think about certain things so much and focus on it, then you see it come your way. Now, what you do with it when it come your way, when the opportunity comes, that's on you. Whether you fail to get it or you get it, you know, but that's all it is. So a lot of times you just got to keep motherfuckers out your midst while you're doing what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Until it happened, then you put it out there because then, you know, at the same time, you still want to be inspiration and help a fellow brother or fellow sister. So you still got to be... Uh, uh, inspiration for another. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it's all about. That's why you got to put it out there. You got to eventually. It's called a testimony. It's, it's called motivational speaking. It's called inspirational speaking. It's called life coach. Like, man, how did you do that? Man, how did you do this? Why did you do this? When did you make this decision? Why did you make the decision? In the process of growing through the concrete, uh, trying to get it out of the mud, or, uh, or trying to maintain on your job, or or uh, uh, trying to deal with these crazy family members that keep getting on your nerves, or uh, uh, the adversary just started coming. How did you maintain and just pull through all of that? That is a testimony. But don't give it before it's too, before it's before it's time. And you know, yeah, going on, I'd be like, look, man, this what popping off, man. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to bust this open. Fuck that. Fuck all that. Don't mention it. You know, you can say what you did. Like, hey, man, today I was busy looking for cribs, trying to do this and making that happen. You know, but. The, the 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 outcome of everything ain't meant to be exposed. You understand? Know That's my main point. You know, how y'all doing today, man? How y'all doing? Today? Big Willis got these cups right here with some. What is this? It look like some milk in it, man. What's going on, Tony Brown? What's happening with you? Uh, yeah, yeah. This this Wi-Fi should be kind of good now because I had to come in here and sit next to the box. Literally, I need four spots to duplicate. Uh, Fred Fells, man, holla at me, man, via Instagram, number one king underscore lock it. Number one king underscore lock it. Let me know what you're trying to do, man. And let me know uh, 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 how can I assist you, man. I don't mind. I said this on Facebook earlier. I don't mind being an employee for my motherfucking people, man. You see what I'm saying? If I'm already boots on the ground around this motherfucker, I don't mind working. With anyone, and fuck it, I work for free. You know, if it's necessary to help you grow, you know what I mean? Average a day, 
Uh, hold on, let me see. Move this goddamn air out my way. Average a day, um, two fifty a day. Okay. Just just hit me up on the on the Instagram, man. DM me on Instagram so we can talk, and I can just show you uh show you some things. Like, hold on, let me show you something right quick. Like, matter of fact, while we're right here, let me pull out this right quick. Like, and just show you what I'm talking about. You know, I'd rather show you than, than just talk about it when I can show you. Hold on one second. Hold on, give me one second, one second. So, this is... So, let me turn the camera around. So, when you're looking at this, this is actually me walking into an empty building. That guy with the white shirt on, he's the, the, the property manager. So these are my latest, you know, um, family that's walking me through for me to look at everything, you know, and I'm just videoing everything, you know, and, and, and taking a look at it. As you can see, uh, that's just one little spot right there. Um, and you see that's my little rider right there, you know. That's, that's me walking out the door. Actually, that's a two bedroom and I'm walking out showing the front. Um, the little front porch is actually in St. Domingo East. You know, so I'm on the ground, man. I'm, I'm looking and, and, and trying to, uh, uh, you know, just sit up all around this motherfucker. Cause you know, like they go to the for rent sign right down the front, you know. Um, then they go some more upstairs and all of that. Got the mango tree on the side. This is me walking in the back. I'm being guided to see what's going on in the back, you know. Um, The little washing area and all that good stuff right there. Oh, that's me joking around and y'all need to see that. Okay, that's that. That's the mango tree, so I'm showing the mangoes out there growing. As you see them right there, you know, it's just a tropical place. Uh, that's the uh, building manager actually opening up the doors. Uh, this is the front of it, walking up to it. This is another spot, you see what I'm saying? It's a whole nother spot right here, you see what I'm saying? So. Uh, they go to the number right there, call them if you want to. It's the same to the Mingo. You know, um, but yeah, this is another spot. So, you know, I'm, I'm jumping all around. You see what I'm saying? So, so this this is what's going on. You see what I'm saying? This is exactly what's going on. It's what I do every day. Uh, 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 negotiate, build, and uh, and keep striving. You know, and uh, so let me know what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? Let me know what you're trying to do. Just DM me on Instagram. Number one, K I N G underscore lock it. L O C K E T T. Number one, K I N G underscore lock it. You know? Uh, where, where, where my folks set? Where my folks set? Where my folks set? Uh, G, uh, GD. What's happening, Millie? That's right, fam. Plenty much. Plenty much love, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, Gwili Castillo say you're right. That's 100. Straight up. I need to find some lumber in DR. Oh, that's 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 all over the fucking place. Yeah, that that's not hard to find, Fred Fells. Tony Brown, I feel you. I feel what you're saying. Make it happen, bro. Uh, just have some integrity. I was thinking about you yesterday. Uh, from your other live, I thought of this situation. Yeah, of course, man. You know, it's all love, man. It's all love. Just hit me up. Let me know what you want to do. Hard time struggle. I think I'm Big Meech. Larry Hoover. What's happening, baby? You know what I'm saying? Put some respect. What baby said, put some respect on that name. And you know, every now and then, we can't forget about Larry Hoover. One of the strongest influential brothers that's still living right now up under the ground. You know, uh, uh, that's that one of the most powerful men that can, most positive men that just got caught up in some little shit that he really wasn't supposed to get caught up in. And you know he he down right now. So I can't forget about those guys who actually who, that actually um uh can, can, can motivate the culture, change the culture. You see what I'm saying? Oh shit! Don't, 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 Alright, bro. Alright, here we go. I need I need to get out there. Uh, I got you. Follow you already. Hit me up. Hey, that's what's up. Just DM him, bro. We can go from there, man. We can talk about it. We can, we can you know, lay down uh, uh, with it, whatever on your mind, man. Yeah, man. Hit the like button. Salute, King Lockett. How much is the two-bedroom apartment 
uh, you hit that's like the one I just showed you where, where I was just walking through this. That one right there is 300. Um, the other one where you seen where they was like double stacked on each other going in a circle, that's like 190, I believe, for in the two bedrooms. Uh, one of them I didn't get the I didn't get the price on that. I didn't even know. Um, and also I'm looking at things that's for sale. But remember, I said, man, it's really better to rent. I'm, you know, I'm, it's definitely better to rent, you know, versus uh, buying all the time. You know, a lot of people like to, you know, if you're gonna buy some, buy some land. If you're not buying the land, don't worry about buying the house on the fucking land that's owned by somebody else. Or if you buy the land, buy the land that comes with the house. Then you roll, but don't just, in my opinion, and they're just my opinion, you know, different strokes for different folks. You know what I'm saying? Maybe my money just ain't long to be doing stuff like that. Maybe that's my problem. You know, um, I can accept that, but I think it's best to rent and, and just Airbnb, build your wealth, use that, the cap, the real, basically it's like it's like the dope game use the re-up to buy your land you see what i'm saying so that way you ain't even touching your pension or your retirement or whatever you got going on you ain't touch none of that you straight living off the mud you, you straight getting off the off the off the off the work look at it like the dope game you know what i mean you, you, you rent you a little apartment that's two three hundred dollars a month but you're making two three hundred dollars every two days off it three days off it you know what i'm saying you keep that thing bunking uh, uh, keep the promotion going, and you know, have it in a good area. I don't give a fuck if you paying eight hundred dollars a month. You still killing the game if you getting paid every, every three hundred every two three days. You know what I mean? I'm saying like three hundred every two three days. You work a little package. Hey, you can get this for four days for three hundred. You know, just make it sound sweet, look sweet. You see what I'm saying? And you got the rent money. Then this thing, you know, you everything else cap. You know what I mean? So you know. You just find you some good property somewhere, send somewhere by a river or some shit, and go ahead and throw it at a Dominican. Like, look here, man, here go five bands right now, boy. Let me have this shit right now. And you hold, let, get them five in cash, USD in their hand. Here, a Dominican will lose their mind. They can't think. Like, they, 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 they lose track. You just stand in there. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Take this shit. Give me the paper. Get the U.S. Embassy involved. Figure out what's going on, you know. So even if they want more or whatever, you know, and you know it's worth it, hell, still give them that down. You know what I mean? And just keep pushing. Still use the Airbnb. Go get another apartment off that. You know, so that's how my mind thinking, man. Just keep, keep, keep bunking. Keep bunking. Keep bunking. You see what I'm saying? Same thing you do in the USA. You do it out here. You know, it's just it's just a no-brainer. This is the supply and demand market. And if, if, if it's here, supply it. You see what I'm saying? They demanding it. You supply it. You see what I'm saying? Um... But that two bedroom that I just showed you was three, and the other one was like one eighty nine. You know, um, yeah. So that, that that that's what they're hitting like. So I'm 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 in that rain. You know, that's the local community. So this is not a tourist community. It's local community. So you got kids outside throwing the baseball. So if you got a nice car, some just park that shit inside. I always look for places where you can get a hideaway parking spot. I don't like parking on the roads and none of that because soon I will have a vehicle here. I'm just trying to do things in certain ways. So soon I have a vehicle and the vehicle that I want, I'm not going to speak on it, but the vehicle that I want, it's got to be ducked off par. It can't be on no streets and all that shit. My motherfucker can just bust some shit up, run up in some shit, thinking that some, some men and kids just throwing, the, you know, the baseball. They, they some baseball players around here and they be speedballing that shit to the club and that shit slip one time and bust your fucking windshield out. You gonna have to pay for it because they ain't got they most likely not gonna have the money to pay for it. You understand? And uh, so, so I just like to look for places, even in the local communities, where, where I just close everything up off. Or I, you know, even when you looked at the first one I showed you, uh, uh, um, that is top, definitely top on my list. That's why I didn't even make a video putting it out there like that. But I just kind of showed y'all a little bit to show you what I'm, what I got going on, what I'm doing. But I ain't posting it because I haven't made I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna actually get it or not. If I'm not, then I'm definitely not gonna be selfish. I'm gonna post it and say, hey fellas, this right here is available. You know. Um, so you know, I just want to uh, make sure that I'm making a decision with that. But you know, the guy had to open the gate, 
and then it's other gates, and then it's a driveway that go all the way along the side, which you saw, you know what I mean? Uh, with cars part, you know, and uh, and that's how I like it. Everything ducked off, you know. You know, let me see whatever comment going on right here. Uh, Clovis Sparks say, "What what it do, fam? You think it would be cool for experienced travelers to stay in a non tourist area?" Yes. You know, even if you not as you know rough around the edges like me, you know, <laughs> a little wild like me, you know what I mean? You know, I'm a, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, even if you just a formal type of guy, you know, and and you, you know, and, and you're and, and you know, and you're not. See, sometimes I'm with the shit. You know, and you may not be at all with the shits. It's still good, man. You know, uh, especially Santo Domingo East. Santo Domingo East is like, it's like sweet. The vibes is sweet. You know, the most you'll get is, you know, guys just going to work, you know, um, the kids playing outside, pretty girls sitting around, walking by, you know. But then you look around the neighborhood, you see nice ass cars like Lexus is parked outside. You know, you might you might see a Benz. You know, uh, um, you, you see all the upscale Hyundai's, and you see the Forerunners. And I said one time before, a Forerunner out here is considered a luxury. You know, to the Dominicans, you know, Forerunners ain't in, in America is bullshit. But out here, Forerunners, when you see Forerunners part, you know, you in the area where you know you have some upscale Dominicans living. So that's what I mean by you living with the locals. You're not living with the low class, you know. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the classes. Sometimes it ain't no classes. Sometimes I like to say it ain't no class. You either poor or you fucking got it, one or the other. But then, you know, you, you kind of start to see the classes. You see the poor, you see the middle, then you see the upper. It's real hard. You got to really just be in the midst to see the difference, you know. Um you know, and, and, and I'm going to make a video and I'm going to explain the difference between the classes. But St. Domingo East, a lot of communities, barrios in the local area in St. Domingo East, you in the high, you in the dominions that got shit together. They ain't starving, they eating, they got less. They're going to be looking harder than, they're going to be looking better than you probably. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to be looking better. You're going to step outside like, damn, man, is this a third world country or what? And I'm not saying it's going to be some American style build homes and you know how we have our town home. Now you're gonna see some some Dominican tin roofs looking shit every now and then. Some some you know some structures have fits brick on the side. You know they look concrete, and people might be you know in the concrete. Cause a lot of people here they live in half finished houses. Like the house don't even have nothing but the roof and ba got the foundation, got a few walls up, no doors, no windows, no nothing. You just see straight through. You'll see a family and they're laying down, but they own that house, though. You see the husband come out every day, he call his crew, they building on it, building on it. But every night, he go in there and sleep. You see the food delivery guy pulling up with food, taking it to him and his family in the house. So he got money. He just They just living off the land. They're Dominicans. You know, they, they know how to do it. But what I'm, what I'm trying to make is, even within that community, you'll still see a Lexus part You'll see a damn Lexus, a new Lexus, a 2020 Lexus part, SUV part outside of one of those, like chilling, you know. Um, and you'll see a lot of beautiful homes with nice, plushed out furniture. Furniture that'll probably look better than your furniture. Furniture that look better than your furniture in America. I'm telling you, mahogany and wood and all that shit on the bed, heavy, heavy, thick wood. I done been in some girl rooms, man. I'm like, God damn, shout it. You should Airbnb this motherfucker. So when, the point I'm trying to make is, I think that uh, 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 an experience. Hold on, did you say inexperience? Yeah, my bad. You said inexperience. So I thought you said an experienced traveler, but now you know an, an experienced traveler, of course. But an inexperienced traveler, no. I wouldn't advise you to live in in the local community. For one, let me tell you why. For one, you don't know proper etiquette. You don't know how to move. You don't know, although I don't fully speak the language, but I understand basic shit and know what's going on. I understand the facial expression. I understand a lot of stuff, and that comes from being experienced here. You know, 
Um, so when I was an experience here, although I did, it's like I said, I'm a little wild. Although I did venture off into the to the local communities, you know, I, I didn't necessarily stay like just stay, 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 you know. Um, so I don't advise an inexperienced traveler to live in the local community outside of the tourist area because you don't know you don't know the etiquette you don't know how to move you don't even your mind your brain itself gonna drive you crazy your insecurities not being secure in the area gonna throw you off you see what i'm saying you're not gonna be able to deal with the pressure of the people even knowing you're a foreigner just by how you dress just by how you wear your you might say okay i'm gonna dumb it down but just by how you wear your socks they know you ain't from there you know, just how you moving, they, they they can just see it on you. You know, it's on you. So just by how they look at you, and and then the kids may be pointing, laughing. You think they're laughing at you, but they actually just think it's cute. You know, uh, or different. You know, and your mind itself gonna drive you crazy. Like, damn man, I'm scared to go outside. You don't know where to go, how to order. You don't know how to move. You know, so nah, I don't advise nobody to do that. You know, because I'm still learning even to this day. I learned so that's how I'm able to keep content going. Because if I was just repeating the same shit over and over and over and over again, your ass wouldn't be sitting here listening to my ass. You see what I'm saying? I keep saying shit differently because I'm experiencing shit. And as I experience it, I go through it, I share it. You understand what I'm saying? So 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 that's just what it is. You know, I don't to answer that question, brother. No, I don't advise, I don't advise uh an inexperienced traveler to live. In a non-tourist area, no, not at all. Afro, what the fuck? No. Okay, I'm pressing shit. Fast. People confuse income with wealth. Yeah, exactly. And once you build your financial IQ and you understand exactly what being wealth is, what wealthy is, and a lot of people have different definition of what wealth really is. You see what I'm saying? My definition of wealth may be different from your definition. Okay, boy. Yes, thanks. Oh, see, this is this is what I was talking about the other day, gentlemen. It's a fish. About the Dominicans don't know what the fuck can yeah, food is. Okay, boy. I'm saying, do no sabe? No, te estoy preguntando porque estoy confundida si fish o qué porque no lo dice. She don't know what this is, which I know is written in English, but even if I t when I tell her what it is, she probably gonna say, "Yeah, see, sí, pescado." Mm -hmm. Fish, sí. okay. Yes. Sí. Oh, for me? Sí. What to do to no comida? Sí. <laughs> to my, to my show dinner. So so uh <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> you know, I've been eating all day. But uh but yeah, man, so you know, uh it's different definitions of wealth, but a lot of people just don't understand, you know, once they build a financial IQ, a lot of folks say, damn bro. How you got out of prison, man, and then you just flew overseas, and and now you just what you got going on? You know, you just don't know how many folks I'll be like. They they they, they ask me, boy, what, what the fuck? Like, what the what the hell? I'll be like, look, man, I just know how to move. You see what I'm saying? I just know how to move. I sat down long enough, read enough fucking books to understand how to move. That's just what it is. And as long as I keep that growth and development in my mind, sticking to the concepts, the laws, and principles that I know to stick by, I'm gonna be all right. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna always be all right. All right, Clover Sparks say, I think starting off, I want to stay in a furnished place till I save enough money to buy furniture. Yeah. To each his own. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, um, because let's say like a $200 place, right? That you just saw. No furniture, no refrigerator, no stove, no nothing. All right. Now, they give it to you with furniture. That shit gonna probably run you about six hundred a month, all right, every month. But let's say you take it empty, two hundred a month, man, for three thousand pesos, man, that's like almost like right around, that's like almost maybe fifty, forty dollars, fifty. Gonna buy your stove, another, let's say. If, and I'm just saying, if you just go to Mocha and go to La Vega, these places to grab your appliances, like just I'm just get, talking about the flat out Dominican price, like flat out, like no extra sewer taxes 
and shit put on them. Just saying, flat out. Your refrigerator, nice ass refrigerator, probably gonna cost you like maybe two hundred dollars because you know you want a big ass refrigerator, nice ass that steel, stainless steel shit that you can press the ice water and all that shit and they'll come out. You know, so I'm gonna say roughly around two hundred dollars for a big ass refrigerator, probably bigger than the fucking apartment. To be honest with you. But they gotta squeeze that shit inside, that motherfucker. Uh, you know, so it's about two hundred dollars. So you write at two fifty plus two hundred. That's four fifty. You still ain't at your rent yet, and you just go buy a nice ass bed for a minute. Chill for a second. All the thing you need is a bed right now. You know, you're gonna be on your phone and your laptop and shit. You got your Wi Fi and shit. That's okay, cool. You got to add on that bill, but we ain't talking about that. All right. We ain't talking about Wi-Fi and all that shit right now. We're into my cell phone bill, but I'm trying to give you some entertainment. So I'm like, okay, you're probably watching your phone. Thug it out for a minute. Thug the shit out. That went wrong with y'all motherfucker. You don't want to thug out for a minute. Thug out, goddamn. Listen. And then maybe another week or two, maybe next month, or whatever the case may be, go on and get you uh your TV and your couch. Cause when the chicas come over, man, they're going straight to the fucking bedroom. Just make sure you have a fucking lot of food in the motherfucker. You know what I mean? Or take you 2,000 pesos or maybe 1,000 pesos. You really just want some entertainment. Go to one of them combatants and say, man, we just going to, they got the pole, the bed, the TV, the music, surround sound, all that shit. Just, and you still going to come out cheaper. But hey, you know, hey, teach his own, you know. Uh, but I, 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 it's nothing against getting it already furnished. It's nothing wrong with that. You see what I'm saying? See, my mind just always in survival mode and how to, how to always monopolize and capitalize and, and you know, and just how to how to take the best route. You see what I'm saying? And um, you know, and save, you know, and that's just how I am. That's just cause I I'm I went through a decade of surviving off fucking Raymond noodle soups and shit. You see what I'm saying? How to stretch these motherfuckers out. You understand? So in my mind, I'm like, okay, if I did 10 years that way, imagine how I can do 10 more years out here and then bust a move. You see what I'm saying? So, but ain't I, I definitely don't have nothing against, you know, uh have nothing to say about it. you want to go ahead and get your shit plushed out, pay that little extra three, four hundred dollars on top of that. That's perfectly fine, brother. You know what I mean? I was just trying to get you another outlet just in case, another way to look at it just in case. Uh would you say Cloven Sports say is a furnished Airbnb cheaper than buying a furnished lease? Oh, yeah. Uh, a furnished Airbnb is going to be, I think, more expensive. Listen, any long-term lease is going to be way cheaper, and way more affordable than Airbnb. That's just, that's just what it is. You know, the whole point of Airbnb is to take the place of hotels. You know, so, you know, uh, in hotels, you never stay in hotels long term. You just pay that little cap price and get on about your business. So it's really what Airbnb is. Uh, you paying that little cap price and you just going on about your business. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like any type of long term lease. You know, you even if you go to someone with an Airbnb that's running the Airbnb business, and you say, hey, man, I want to keep this long term. They're going to cringe a little bit. Like, Damn, nah, I don't know, bro. Because that's, that's money they losing with your long term lease when they can be. Instead of two hundred dollars a month, shit, you can be making two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars a fucking night. You see what I'm saying? So you know, so then, uh, uh, so so that just that just kind of like sums up that the answer to that question you just asked. You know, you know, um, is a furnished Airbnb cheaper than buying a furnished lease? Let me tell you something. Um, Airbnb, a long-term lease is going to beat them every time, no matter how you switch up the scenario and the situation, the details. A long-term lease is going to always usually beat an Airbnb unless you just got some dirt, bullshit-ass, bottom-of-the-barrel Airbnb. You know, you got to charge like $13 a night or some shit, you know. Airbnb is what I might be looking for when I travel the next time. Yeah, definitely, 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 man. When you're traveling and you're visiting, Airbnb, man. Um, booking.com booking.com and Airbnb booking.com allows you to pay once you arrive so you don't have to give nothing in advance just in case you want to change your mind you know but you still have like within you have that five day window before you come to make any changes or, or, or booking.com will be asking you to pay 
a certain percentage if you decide to decline. But of course, then you know they're they're, they're not gonna. Uh, they're probably yeah yeah. But at the same time, if you don't have nothing on the card that you put on file, you know maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. They ain't gonna pull nothing from it, and you're still gonna be in good standings with them. Sorry, Booking.com. <laughs> My bad, Booking.com. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just told the world out there, y'all know, you know. Uh, you know, I, my bad guys for those of you. I, I didn't mean to say that, but hey, y'all need to hear that. Clover Sports say I've seen a couple of Airbnb around like three fifty five hundred a month. Where here in the states, rent in my city costs uh, eleven and up. Hey, that's sweet, bro. That's sweet. That's real sweet. You might want to hop on it. Ali, what's going on? Peace, brother. What's happening? What's up with you, man? I drunk my coffee. You know, I ain't yawning tonight, half sleep. I drunk me a cup of coffee before I got on this live. I said, you know, I'm going to ride a little bit tonight. Let me see what that barrel look like. Yeah. Oh, man. Let me see what that barrel look like. Okay, okay, okay. We're looking good. Oh, shit. Look at this, man. I, I keep. See, growth and development. You got to keep upgrading, keep moving, man. I just keep doing it, man. I just keep. Just keep doing it, man. You just got to keep doing it, man. You know. Well, yeah. Um, you need to get on the, yeah, yeah. You told me, bro. Um, I, I'm definitely gonna get off into that, man. You know, I'm I'm definitely gonna do that, man. Just just the uh, the cryptocurrency, you know, definitely gonna do it. Um, you know, even my brothers, my biological brothers, my family, be saying the same thing, man. Uh, running two Harrys, running two Harry. What up, bro? Glad to have you on, man. You know, um. Today you missing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably missing out on a lot of shit. You know, uh but yeah. But yeah, guys, man, you know. Um but yeah, so yeah, the Airbnb business, man, definitely hop on it, man. Definitely hop on it. I think that's a good look for a lot of you guys, man. For a lot of you guys. You know, uh, that's a good look. That's a multi- I think it's on the multi-billion dollar industry now. And it ain't enough host. It's way more consumers than hosts. And I think Airbnb is dying for hosts. They need more hosts. So, yeah, man, you know. So, it's sweet. So, let me just cover some of that. Uh, what to do, KL? I need a nice two-bedroom place soon. Retiring the end of the year. And definitely making the move to Santo Domingo from the northeast. That's what's happening from the northeast of America, correct? Or where? I'm assuming the northeast of America. I'm assuming. I may be wrong. You may be talking about the northeast of the DR. You know, you might just coming down south for a minute. But yeah, no problem, bro, man. Like I say, man, um, I'll shoot you the numbers to whatever I see around, man. Just give them to you, man. You have it, man, you know. I'm usually riding around a lot. I'm always in the streets and I see stuff for rent and shit for sale. I just take the photo and send it to you, bro. Okay, USA is no problem, man. I'm always moving around, so you ain't gotta worry about nothing, man. Just let just keep reminding me, man. Let me know. Hit me up in the IGDM. Let me know. I'll definitely shoot some pictures to you, man. And just with the numbers, you know. Um, and that way you can you can try to call and get in contact. And if it's different, usually the numbers are connected to attached to WhatsApp. But if any of you guys don't have WhatsApp, or if any of you guys, if I send you information or something, because it's just stuff on the strength I do. I don't want them to retire. If I see some stuff, man, I'm going to send it to you. Like, oh, here you go, man. There you go. I want you to make the best move you can possibly can. But if it's an issue with you reaching, because sometimes it's difficult to call from America, and some of these folks don't have WhatsApp, and some of these folks be way in fucking France some goddamn well with Dominican number, you know, so what I'll do then, being that I'm here, I can pick up a landline phone and call and have somebody speak Spanish. Now, and also, if you got somebody to speak Spanish, that's perfect. If you have someone that has the Dominican accent, that Caribbean Dominican broken Spanish shit, that's even more better, because that's how you get the two... Let me tell you something, guys. The apartments on fine, finding for $200, $200 and shit, 
it's not because I'm American and find this shit. It's because I don't say shit and those girls go out there. You see them ladies walking? They they walk. I'm just walking with the camera. I ain't said a goddamn thing. If you look at the video, I ain't said nothing. <laughs> I'm just walking with the camera. Motherfucker be talking to me. I just be acting like I don't see and record. Because I don't need nobody to get no ideas before we lock down with before we lock down this quote. Then I talk after the quote is after everything, the price and everything is secured. Then I say, oh yeah, okay, you need my passport or what you need. Like, ah, damn, it's too late now, brother. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> and then you know, and then uh, according to Dominican laws, I think if I they can't even up the lease, they can't even make the lease greater um during the terms of the lease, and they can't give the lease to nobody else, even after the lease is up. They got the day by law, they got to give you the opportunity. To sign that motherfucker again, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's just law here. I think it's like that in America too, though, you know. So, you know, so uh, that's just what it is, man. So, so yeah, I just keep my mouth closed. So, um, now if you want me to put my girls to work and all that, now nah, then you know I'm gonna have to say, hey man, at least because they be looking at me like, hold on, they working for me now. So really, just we just looking out for them. But where we at? Uh, I'm 25 and I want to move to the DR, but I don't want my family to feel like I'm cutting them off. Can you offer any advice? Yes, I can. Do you know how much? Hold on, let me show y'all somebody. I don't know if I showed y'all this before. Before I even, re like I said, I like to show, I like to show and tell, you know, I, I get a thrill out of it. Am I on the right phone for this? <laughs> Shit, no, I'm not. I want to show you the video chat with me, my son, and his mother. You know, it's, it's like it's like real touching, you know. But dad got to do what dad got to do. Uh, let me see if I can just pull something up right quick, like the uh, the uh, let me see Facebook right quick. Uh, do I have any? I'm just trying to see, do I have anything with me, him and I? But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I kind of want to show you that I'm going through what you just asked. Like, I'm going through it. Like, fuck it. We'll, we'll do it another time. I might just make a whole YouTube video about being abroad and you missing your family. <laughs> well, I don't, I would like to see my family soon, but I don't, being in prison so long, and there's going to be another situation I'm going to talk about. I don't have too many emotions. We I learned how to not miss motherfuckers real easily. Uh, so it's like it's a you know, it's kind of different from me and you. I know you know. So I'm kind of giving you the best advice. When I'm talking to my son, you know, we have the same birthday and everything. Birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. You know, so he just I just want to hold him. You know, I did skin to skin with him at birth. You know what I'm saying? His mama, we had to cut her open. So I'm in there giving birth. You know, I got the whole little doctor thing. I'm giving birth to him. You know, and, and we giving birth to him. <laughs> and, you know, I did the skin to skin with him and all that. So I'm I'm real, like, you know, his name, King Lockett. Got there, you know what I mean? He got everything. My birthday, every goddamn thing. So I'm just using this as an example. Like, you know, and my son, mother sometimes say, damn, you know, you, you know, although her and I ain't together, we on good terms. So I'm on good terms with each of my children. I have three. We, each of my children, mama, we on we like this. But the thing about it is, uh, 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 um, you know, she go through her moments sometimes when she be like, fuck you, why you left? What the fuck? Like, what's going on? Like, she don't understand that I have to create, I'm trying to be bigger than life in my own way. Like, I'm like, you have to think like that, bro. You have to think like, it's like going into the military, like family gonna miss you. God damn, your girlfriend you had, you know, but in the end, they're going to look at it like, oh, you know, because when I first made the move, when I, first of all, when I first started visiting a lot, like every other month, I'm out here boom, visiting so much. It was like, damn, why you keep running out there? It was all about you trying to fuck some, you trying to get the pussy out here. It's all about that. You think it was your dick. All about that, but that ain't what the fuck I was doing. But you can't explain that to no females and, 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 and your homeboy definitely like, Nah, bro, we're we we're, we're gonna stay on the block, man. We're gonna kick it, you know. You know, we're gonna go on a cruise ship. We ain't gonna do all that shit. But now it's like, you see, my mama flew out. Now I got another homegirl flying out. Um, uh, I had, you know, 
Uh, uh, and this will be the, the second homegirl flying out. The first one was a fucking disaster, but this one's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to open up the doors for people to come. Now they're like, we coming, we coming, we coming. I got a whole bunch of people in America that was like, what the fuck? But now they're like, man, we coming. Even my baby mom and son, we're working on his passport now. I'm going to go fly back into the country. We got to sign some paper for his passport. You know what I'm saying? So by the time he reached kindergarten, he can be already saying, hey, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm overseas with my dad. You know what I mean? You know, he, he, you know, so it's just, you just got to focus on that you on a mission, bro. You got to know your mission. You don't necessarily got to break down the details to me. Kind of let them know, man, I'm trying to make a way where y'all, y'all when y'all go on vacation, huh? Hey, go to Keys. Go chill. I might be, I might be in America, in Atlanta. Somebody might be like, man, we're trying to go to the, somewhere for my anniversary. Well, huh? Hey, go to Keys right here to the spot, man. Uh, hey, go to address. Hey, go to location. I'm going to call my connection. You ain't got to worry about them. Hell, you ain't got to worry about no food. There's food in the refrigerator. Only thing you got to do is just pull up. I got somebody already from the picture from the airport and all that motherfucker. Like, huh? Like, you ain't got to worry about that, man. You know, just they going to hold a sign up, look, holler your name and shit. When when you get to that point, then it's like, okay, motherfucker can't, you just, just keep that in your mind, man. It's kind of like, this is a crazy example, but I'm giving it to you anyway. You know what I mean? It's like when I was in prison. How I stayed focused and kept myself looking this fucking good. You see what I'm saying? I always had in my mind, I'm getting out one day. <laughs> no matter how many years it is, I see the light. Some motherfuckers don't see the light. Goddamn, they don't. They, they, they don't get out. It's like there's no light. There's no hope. They, 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 you know, they hoping on appeals and shit that may not never come. But I saw the light. I see what I see an exit. So that's what kept me strong. Like I'm not worried about what people who miss me and shit, you're going to see me again. So with me being over here, marking my territory, put my feet in the ground, conquering some shit like we, we supposed to do. Okay. I know a lot of folks. I see it on Facebook. I get arguing and fighting on Facebook because motherfuckers miss me. That's all it is. But at the same time, it's like, I see the light. You're going to be all right because at the end of the day, it's your fucking life. And that's how you got to deal with it, bro. You got to cut that shit out. That emotional shit by how Somebody gonna feel get that shit out your fucking system, put your fucking chest up, your head up, goddamn, and handling your fucking business at 25 years old, bro. I wish I was 25 years old doing what you're doing, bro. 25 years old, I was in the pen. You see what I'm saying? I wish I was 25 years old talking to another big brother on the fucking live, like, yo, bro, I'm finna make this transition soon, bro. What should I do at 25 years old? Come on, man. But tighten up. And make that fucking move, bro. And goddamn, and then you holler back at and you reach your hand back into the land and say, Come on, y'all come on now. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, even the Dominicans be like, they fussing and fighting on arguing with me about where my mama should move when she come here. You know how good that made me feel, man. I got Dominicans got property, like she can take her, her husband can build a house right here on my property. We gonna help her. Do you know how good that made me feel to say, like, mama, you know. It, you say, Mama, yo, um, these folks really arguing about with me. I'm saying you should stay here. They telling me, no, nah, we, we going back and forth about where my mama should stay when she come here. Because she looking for a house out here too now. See how I just motivated that for her? My mama, my mama was the main one talking shit. Like, bro, what the fuck? You got kids out here. You know that female shit. You got kids out here. She's like, Mama, you don't be quiet. I love you to death, but God damn, chill. You know what I'm saying? But now she's like, yo, find me a house. Me and my husband, you coming. I said, I got a perfect location for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got you. Don't worry about it. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be that inspiration. You got to be able to do something different that ain't nobody in your fucking family did, bro. You see what I'm saying? If it is, you then you doing good by following them. Now you opening up the doors and you're gonna you gonna be another example like myself and like Taylor May, like both rates, like all the hats. Like all the ones who did it before me, that's doing it after me. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be examples because it ain't enough examples. No matter how many of us do this, it's not enough of us doing it. Imagine if a lot of us start doing it. We start building communities and allies in other countries. This is this the first beginning to building our own government. This is the start to building our own government. But when we put money into other countries, we got our own individual allies outside of the cricket, wicked-ass government of America. You understand what I'm saying? So now we got people who are standing up for us, and then we start building that same ally line, that bridge back into the hood in America, and then we start keep, you know, keeping that shit back and forth. 
You know what I'm saying? We start building it like that, man. It's bigger than what y'all think, man. It's bigger than what the fuck you think. It ain't just about coming out here fucking playing with mangoes and fucking finding unicorns and shit. It's about coming out here creating an ecology, goddamn. If you don't know what that fuck that word means, look it up, goddamn. That's what the fuck it's about, man. You understand what I'm saying? It's about really sending trends for the culture, the real culture. Fuck what they talking about in these rap songs and shit. This real, bro. So do what the fuck your heart and your spirit telling you to do, man. And don't worry about what the fuck nobody gonna say. Don't worry about how the fuck somebody gonna feel. And I'm saying this shit is hardcore as I possibly, possibly can, man. They put that spunk into your ass, man. Put that, put that fucking fire into you so you bust your move. You do it the right way. Because there's nothing but love out here. You got all the brothers out here that's gonna help you. Ain't nobody gonna see you slip. You know what I mean? So that's the best advice I can give you, homie. Just tell them you love them. Say, hey, mama, I love y'all, man. But just, and sometimes you got to ignore that shit. Sometimes you get crazy text messages from people I love, man. I just push that shit to the side, man. And just, then, I, then after I ignore their ass for like two, three days, I get another text message. Say, you know, I love you, though, right? I'm like, all right, that's what I want to hear. I love you too, goddamn. And we keep goddamn pushing, you know what I'm talking about? So that's just what it is, man. Some housing in DR might not look good, but on the outside, but once you step inside, man, let me tell you something, man. That shit baffles me. The outside look like fucking World War fucking two around this motherfucker. World War One or whichever one. When you step inside, marble flows and fucking nice ass furniture. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. That's how it is. Right now, man. Kevin Kelly, what's going on, baby? What's happening? Kevin Kelly, matter of fact, like I told y'all in the next few, last few lives, man. March 2nd, man, we're going to be in Susu with the birthday dinner, the birthday cake, man. Everybody going to be in there, man. Uh, even the legend Taylor May said he going to show up, man, you know. But listen, Kevin Kelly is the one who put this thing together. He's sponsoring this motherfucking thing, man. He called me and said, bro, we got a birthday celebrate together. Bring your ass on. Thing you need to do is show up. And I appreciate that, brother, man. Kevin Kelly, he on here right now, man. I appreciate you, Kevin Kelly. Y'all need to be at Flip Flop March 2nd, though. If you're in the Dominican Republic, be at Flip Flop March 2nd, because that's how it's going to go down. At Flip Flop, we're going to have a, a birthday dinner, you know what I'm talking about? A nice birthday dinner with cake. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to try to get the cake American style. They be having that whipped cream shit that I don't like. It. Fish and dumplings. Oh, this is fish and dumplings. Oh, yeah, chicken and dumplings. Fish and dumplings. Man, delicious. Delicioso. You did this all by yourself, girl? Golden Spark say, yeah, man, I'm getting ducks in a row now. I'm working on my investment soon as I'm able to make 2500 a month. I'm going to make that move hopefully by April. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. That's what's up, bro. Mm -hmm. uh, spoken into the universe. Focus on it. Concentrate. Create good vibes and energy. I know, I know, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Treat people right. Have good intentions. And everything will happen. Everything will transpire. Now, this fish and dumpling, this is how they make their dumplings. 
You know, in America, chicken and dumpling be uh, a little bit different. This is like, this is dumpling. What? Wow. Dominican wow. virgin. Same. Kevin Kelly said, King, 1200 monthly income. Can't you make it in the Dominican Republic? Hell yeah. You can make it comfortably in the Dominican Republic. Um, Give me a second, hold on. I got bad table now, I don't give a shit. Um twelve hundred dollars uh income monthly. They said you got one in two bedrooms. And that's two bedrooms for two hundred. Imagine how much the one bedroom. Maybe a hundred and twenty dollars, maybe. Um, so let's say you got a two bedroom, two hundred a month. Um, your light bill with you alone, maybe your girl, maybe every now and then. I say roughly around fifty dollars at max. Unless you just got your after this is just mocking. But they just say you're doing a Dominican style. I know you might can't hear me. I got my little my little guys in here popping shit. But um but they just say um you, you know um you just you just plain Jane. You got the windows up, you let the wind blow. You know, you'll say roughly four forty, thirty a month in light like And you put the air conditions in there, and you're gonna turn like your room on. Then um, and you allow that one to work, get the house cool um, at night while you sleep, but turn it off during the day, keep the doors open. You're looking at about $50 a month, maybe. Water 10. Um, so that's like what? 260 a month. You see what I'm saying? The food will cost you like 50, so that's 300. Um, so the rest. You know, on your transportation, your phone bill, and all that right there. You got the roof over your head. That's pretty much how it go. Well, guys, I don't want to keep eating your face like this. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um... Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, tomorrow I'll be riding bikes all through St. Domingo. We'll be doing a little bicycling thing, so uh, I'm going to try to get some good footage riding the bike. Um, I'm going to ride covering a lot of areas. Kind of like my job, but now we're going to be on the bike. But um, make sure you guys, man, stay focused. Make sure you stay strong. Make sure you continue to grow and develop. Tonight it was all about growth and development. Tonight it was all about GDN. Tonight it was all about free Larry Hoover. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, free my guy. Free the bit Larry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing but the L's for Larry. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so, you guys, take it easy. As a matter of fact, they go to start for Larry. You know, you got to take it easy and make sure you um, hit me up on IG if you want to chop it up with me on some business shit. You can chop it up. Um, other than that, if you want to um, if you want to donate to the channel, donate to the college, you want to donate for my birthday, March 2nd, feel free. Dollar sign, K-I-N-G, 7414. That's cash app, dollar sign, K-I-N-G, 7414. 7 for 14. All right? I love you guys, man. Stay strong out there, man. Stay sucker free. Keep your head up and keep striving, man. Peace.